Hello everyone, welcome to Science Concepts with Bhavna Agarwal and in today's video we are going to discuss about inertia. So what is inertia? Have you ever heard this word or are you like familiar with this word? Inertia is actually the tendency of an object to resist a change in its state of rest or uniform motion. Now what does it mean? Now suppose there's a book lying on the table and no one comes and touches that book for say seven days or one month or even more. Will the book start moving on its own? Your answer would be of course not. Why not? The reason behind this is that there's no force acting on the book. So in the absence of any force, the book does not want to change its position and that is why we say it is the inertia of the book to stay at rest. On the other hand, you must have, uh, I don't know whether you've noticed or not or whether you've read it somewhere or not, that planets are continuously orbiting the sun. This everyone knows, of course. But why does it happen? Why don't they come to a stop? Why don't they stop? When we roll a ball on the floor, it comes to a stop after some time. But what is the force that is keeping the planets in motion around the sun? Similarly, the moon is continuously orbiting the earth. There's no fuel in the moon. There's no fuel in the planet that is being ignited to create the force. So what is it that keeps them going? It is actually the inertia present in them. It is the inertia of motion. So in the absence of any external force, if an object is in motion, the object will continue to remain in motion unless some force acts on its outside and makes it comes to a stop. So that is what we say to resist a change. The change could be, a, uh, the state could be a state of rest. That means if an object is at rest, it will like to remain at rest. It will say, no, I will not move. And on the other hand, if the object is in motion, it will say, okay, I will remain in motion. I will not come to a stop. So if you've ever visited any of the science museums, there generally there is a setup or there's a model in which a ball keeps on rolling, rolling and rolling and it never comes to a stop. So again, the same principle is used there. A vacuum has been created inside that box. And once the ball is set in motion, it continues to move on and on, on and on because of its inertia, because there is no force acting on it, which can bring it to a halt. But when we are rolling the ball on the floor, anywhere on the surface of the earth, it does come to a stop after some time because the force of friction is acting on it. The friction may be the friction with the ground or due to air resistance. So this is what is actually inertia. So we can also say that inertia is a measure of mass. So inertia is also a measure of mass. That means if an object has a greater mass, the inertia is more. That is mass is directly proportional to inertia. If the mass is more, the inertia is also more. And if the mass is less, the inertia is also less. So you can imagine two stones, a small one and a big one and a heavier one. Which one is easier to move? You all would agree that it will be easier to move the lighter stone as compared to the heavier stone. The reason behind this is that the smaller stone has a lesser mass and hence its inertia is also less. Whereas the bigger and the heavier stone has a greater mass, which also makes its inertia more. So an object which has a greater inertia will be difficult to move or to stop. If it is in motion, it is difficult to bring it to a stop. And if it, has, it is at rest, it would be difficult to bring it in motion. It is all because mass is directly proportional to inertia. So this was something very, very basic about inertia and inertia finds its direct application in Newton's first law of motion. And that is why we also say that Newton's first law of motion is also called as the law of inertia. In my next video, I'll be discussing about the various types of inertia with the help of some examples. So please stay tuned and do subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular notifications for the upcoming videos. Thanks for joining me and see you soon with another important concept from science.